Research has shown that the quality of education of a nation is directly proportional to the positive growth of that nation. Lee Kuan Yew gave a classical example in his book From Third World to First World, where he shared the Singapore story. My name is Sheyi Agbede and you're welcome to 100 Seconds with SA. In this edition, I'll be sharing my thoughts on three things that define what quality education should be. Competence. Competence indicates sufficiency of knowledge and skills that enables someone to act in a wide variety of situations. The basic components of competence are skills and knowledge. With the evolution of our world today, we need to ensure that our learners are equipped with the 21st century skills. Capacity. Capacity is the specific ability of an entity, a person or an organization, or a resource measured in quantity and level of quality over an extended period of time. We need to ensure that our learners not only have the required knowledge and skill to meet the demand of the workforce, but that they also have the required capacity to sustain them. An example is seen in the story of Thomas Edison. As competent as he was, he needed to have the requisite capacity not to give up despite having failed so many times. Character. Character is the particular combination of qualities in a person or a place that makes them different from others. If all we teach is competence and capacity without focusing on character, we would have successfully created educated devils. Thank you very much for listening to this. Till I come your way again with another edition of 100 Seconds with SA, remember to use education as a tool for societal transformation.